Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to talk about the RX 460. Real quick, I'm giving away a Battleborn Steam Key on Wednesday the 10th, so join up in the description before you lose your chance. So the RX 460. Some leaked benchmarks released a couple of days ago, slating the 460 as a dud basically, showing performance on par or lower than the 750 Ti, and I'm happy to say that's not the case. Instead, like I said in one of my earlier videos, the 460 is instead competing with the 950 and even the 960 in some games. So let's take a quick look at the benchmarks out right now. Let's see Guru 3D's benchmarks here, showing the 460 beating the 950, then it's not, then it is, then it's not. This is the 460's performance in a nutshell. In DX11, the 460 is either just under or just above the GTX 950. In DX12 though, we're seeing the RX 460 beat the 960 by around 10 FPS in each of the games here, and even in Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is NVIDIA optimized. This is what other reviewers are seeing, give or take a couple of FPS, but pretty much, according to Guru 3D, the MSRP of the 460 is only $109. Holy holy, that's $41 less than the 950 and the R9 370's MSRP, and we're getting almost the same performance or better. If AMD's partners don't mess up the pricing here, we might actually see cards around or near the MSRP, and the 370 or 950 prices could drop a bit in turn. Just so you know, do not buy 460s at this price. For as much as two nice dinners with your girlfriend, you could manage to pick up an RX 470 or 480 reference, and you will not regret it. Since all the 470s are priced at 200 right now, we have a pretty hefty gap between the 460 in price and performance, so I bet AMD will be releasing a 460X sometime in the future. One last thing to look for is that not all 460s will use PCIe power on its own. For example, the Strix here and the Nitro 460s have a single 6-pin power connector, and I think that will hurt the low end a considerable amount. Not everyone has a custom PC, in fact, I have a pre-built machine with an aftermarket PSU because I knew I would need the extra wires with whatever my new GPU upgrade was. All in all, if you're looking to get a brand new GPU for around $100, you should consider the RX 460, especially if you don't want to play all the big games at 1440p or 4K. However, I bet with some lowered settings, you'll still be getting near 60 FPS in games like GTA 5, The Witcher 3, The Division, and Doom. At higher prices, just make the jump to the higher tiered cards and you won't regret it. Alright everyone, thanks for watching the video. Any links discussed will be in the description below. Make sure you join the Battleborn giveaway and remember to subscribe and give this video a like to show your support. If you hated my voice or something, please drop a dislike and comment down below on what you'd like to see improved. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.